Hey, baby, what's good? What's poppin'? Happy Friday. Uh, happy another day in this wretched country. <laughs> happy birthday! <laughs> uh, you are now tuned into another episode of Just Finesse Presents, and today I'm presenting. <sighs> this is the first woman on my. You identify as a woman, right? <laughs> yeah, she. Has. Oh, come on! <laughs> Respect the pronouns. My first woman on the pod. A very special friend of mine, someone who is not mad, someone who's not crazy, someone who's not wicked. <laughs> Hannah, what's up? What's poppin'? What's up? What's poppin'? <laughs> Guys, this is her first podcast, so yeah. I need you wherever you are, whether you're listening from your office, uh, your boyfriend's house, uh, your side chick's house. Please give her a round of applause. This is Hannah's first podcast ever. I'm Let me happy. Give myself a round of Come applause. on, <laughs> I'm happy that I'm breaking your podcast cherry today yeah. on your birthday of all days. How does it feel? It feels good. Like, I'm taking up challenges. Okay. Like, I decided I'll put myself out there. So, this is like a step. Come on. So, yeah. I'm part of the process. I'm part of the process. <laughs> I hope you're not nervous. A little bit. Yeah, I can't. I can't tell. All right. Let's do it. So, um, Hannah, the reason why I love the fact that you're here is because you've actually listened to the podcast. Yes, I So, have. you know how I'm, I'm a do. fun. Come I'm on. A fun. Come on. Come on. I feel the energy. Um, so, you're going to smoke with me today. Def. Now I'm I can't, not gonna, I can't prepare. See, I'm not gonna even ask you white or yellow. Yeah, you know, like I didn't even eat because, like, you know, I'll, I'll come here and so Gary. See, if you need two bowls, don't don't be don't I, I be shy. You, you got me. Don't be shy. <laughs> if right? I got myself, I'll, I'll help myself. I'm not gonna ask Hannah white or yellow. I know this babe personally. She's gonna pick white, so I even put white on her side. <laughs> Take that nasty thing over there. Um, yeah. So Go let's begin. This. I'm not. <laughs> Apparently, Hannah says that people that drink yellow Gary are ritualists. Yep. Um, can There's you, one sitting right I'm not a ritualist. I'm the, I don't even know where to buy calabash from if I wanted to be yeah, one. Yes, bring out your face mask. Like, not your face mask, like your mask. Like your, uh, but I actually wear like your, your, your full face mask because of writing. I'm rubbery. I'm a halfway, I'm a halfway so I'm ritualist. Rubber. Anyway, babes, um, so let's begin. How do you smoke your Gary? So, yeah, simple. White Gary, butter, and granite. I don't put milk. I'm lactose and talented. So she said uh, she's <laughs> lactose and talented. Can you freaking what? Yes. I feel like in my big age, I'm getting to the point where dairy products make me feel funny. But I'm sorry, I cannot give up mac and cheese. I can't no, give up. Cheese. I don't like that. Sometimes I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, uh, let me take like ice cream or like something. Do you eat pizza? Yeah, I do. So you. So do you get like, like, guts? like the, yeah like do that time not like you know what like whatever man we die here we die here for real I'm sorry I'm eating pizza they can put cheese today, in my grave today's my birthday I, 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 I need to be I need to be very okay come on I don't even understand all right let's begin let's begin I don't know. um so as you pour your just look at this look at the color look at the look at the grain I beg you what are you telling me. Come on, you be want to drink that sour, nah. that sour stuff. Stop that and not stop it. Stop <laughs> Ayo. Don't do that. Don't do that. So I have it. So I'll probably like pour like a whole sugar inside. Bro, are you serious? No, so no, how no, many spoons? No, let me bear myself today. No, no, no. This, this respect, the misbehavior, it's your birthday. How many spoons are you about to put inside there? You just watch. Oh, no, she's pouring oh, shit. Ah, ah. There's Sorry. more sugar than Gary in that thing. Yeah. Oh, so that means you like candy. Yes, I do. Okay, noted. Noted. Viewers, I, I, I have perfect. I haven't been to the dentist. Is dentist culture popular here? Because no, like, no, I don't think so. Like, unless you have like a really bad toothache or like maybe your. So y'all don't y'all don't like oh don't go to, to the like, dentist every year to get your teeth cleaned or like I don't think do a I checkup. Shall. I don't know about that. <laughs> Some people do, but I don't think it's like a culture. Yeah, it's not a culture. Like, yeah, not. First of all, dentistry do. is expensive. It's expensive. I can yeah. attest that no matter where you are in the world, dentistry is expensive. Okay, um, I remember when I went to go get my teeth, I wanted to get my teeth whitened. I'm pretty sure, like. I went. It was, I only did it because it was discounts. That's how you know. I was like, okay, they doing a deal. Yeah. So th- I think I spent like thirty, twenty or thirty k. So imagine if it wasn't discount, it was double. It would Wait, be double 30K that. Dolls. No, like, naira, 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 naira. Because like in Nigeria, I don't like to get a tea white since you're spending like forty to like fifty k. Yeah. I told you it was, you a deal. It was a discount. It was a, dis- it was a discount yeah. day. Yeah. Uh, I would never go on full price day. I'm not that rich. <laughs> um, off the pod, right? I said I was gonna pick up the first fan. Mm. But because I'm still making my Gary, you're going to pick up the first one. We man. can't wait. No, we can't. We got places to be. I'm, let me, I'm sucking my own. <laughs> we got places to be. Now, come on. Come on. You challenging yourself. Pick up the first man. Let's do it. Let's do it. 
Tem um N. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have a rural video basically saying Ikoi residents detest the presence of poor people in their environs. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Secure Ikoi Ikoi was under siege Under siege First of all Do you know what siege means? Can you please You said this off the Do you what? know what siege means? The way means? we like to use That's words In this strong country word. Are so It's like, so nasty For people Normal people Going about their normal lives Doing their normal things you said normal, No 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 Hannah please Read the read the definition of siege Please I beg I beg <laughs> Oh man, it's crazy. Okay. Uh, okay, so siege is a military operation in which enemy forces surround a town or building, cutting off essential supplies with the aim of compelling those inside to surrender. <laughs> so please, how are people going about their normal lives? Stopping so apparently people living poor in people Koi. Mm-hmm. are military. <laughs> yeah. What's happening? Military forces. Okay. Um, our military forces, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, threatening, wanting to destroy, wanting to occupy, yeah. And 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 kill innocent, yeah. Ikoi <laughs> residents. <laughs> All right. So people's domestic workers, their barbers, um, who again, who who, who like their gates man, their gardeners, their security, yeah, the, the security, security men. Security yeah. I love and I love how you said gardeners, like gardeners, like we're giving them proper title because if you leave people house boy. House Gale, <laughs> Gates Man. No. These are these are employed yeah. people. People employed by these people that are so scared that because they see them on the road at 6 p.m. or 7 a.m. at either 6 p.m. or 7 a.m. that they feel threatened. Do you know how powerful that is? That's how you that's how you know that there's a class war in this country. Yes, no. Yes, no. Like, for for all the people that wanted that wanted to do you know uh, for people that deny. don't have up to 500 k in their account, they're pretty classes. Bro. <laughs> like, like, don't they're pretty, yeah, like, we're pretty Yeah, like, we're pretty classes people, man. Who's, Who's that? that? Ooh. Oh, Surprise. baby girls. <laughs> I hope you can. Cake, 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 cake. Happy birthday, Hannah. I feel, I feel very special. Come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do the honor. Uh-uh. Jess, will you raise me like this? <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah. You're very uh, welcome. You can put it somewhere you. on the table, you know. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's the first. Wait, is this the first? I feel like you're the first person I've ever bought cake for. I feel since special. I came to this country. I feel special. Don't quote me. Nobody should come and pull up one tweet for five years ago and be buying cake for someone. Please don't cancel me. Uh, but yeah. Thank you. No, you're very welcome, babes. Um, thank you for coming here on your birthday. Thank you for having me. Um, thank God we're not recording any Koi. We're recording in... I'm not going to cast where we're at. <laughs> anyway, guys. Help them secure you, Koi. I will be in my house in Lecky. I'm minding my business. Next fan. Let's do it. That's you, boo. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, justice is finally served. Uh, Derek Chauvin has been convicted of murdering George Floyd on um in Minneapolis on a Minneapolis street oh, last yeah. year. So <laughs> I know we're discussing this because on a global scale, like Although this didn't happen in Nigeria, right? It's a very real thing because we saw the thing, like everyone all over the world saw how this thing played out. Um, it sparked another uh, resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement. And the then how many- I've actually like seen, like personally, like mm-hmm. I've experienced, I think that's that like the biggest Black Lives Matter movement. For even though, like even for many people, for people that lived in America, that was one of the biggest yeah. ones. That sparked like, there have been protests before that because there have been many black people that have been shot by police yeah. before that. But for whatever reason, no, I'm not going to say for whatever reason. First of all, you lock people up in the house for how many months <laughs> in COVID? They, you're giving people a reason to be like, nah, let's be out right, of these not too much free time. Mm-hmm. So you fight for this. Exactly. So the pandemic played, too, I think the pandemic played a huge role in just people being like tired. Like yeah. you're, you, you can't make money. People have lost businesses. People have lost their houses. People have lost family because people have died of the mm-hmm. pandemic. And then on top of that, we're still dealing with police brutality. That was an issue even before the pandemic. We're outside. Full stop, point blank. Like, people didn't even Here care, we. man. Um, but what I was saying, let me, let me give perfect before, uh, context. What I was saying is that it's, it was very relevant to 
I think Nigerians from my own POV because how many months later we yeah. were dealing with NSARS, NSARS yeah. which is a variation of police brutality for Nigerians. So that's why I think it was very, very irrelevant. So before I say my two cents on this topic, what is it? What what are the your your initial thoughts? First of all, big ups to the person that recorded that video because without that video, I don't know her I, name. I feel like that stuff would have been swept on that shout out to that Like every other like police brutality. Protect so her at like, all costs. So like yeah, shout out to her man. And then how? I I don't understand man. Like how? How? I don't I don't know if the word is wicked or evil, but like Ego. how do you like? put your knee on someone's neck like till they die till they die yeah like how wicked do you have to be <laughs> don't we experience wickedness every day from police in this country <laughs> come on like ah it is is they're just showing know, you do you know that have you ever heard of this show a thousand ways to die yeah, yeah, it's just showing us new and new ways police can kill us. That's 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 all they. They're just they're just you know it's like hold my beer. Oh, you shot him. Okay, hold my beer, and you now use your own need to kill someone. Anyways, um, it's not funny, but at this point, like I'm I'm beginning to get desensitized. And I have issues with like the other cops like standing around. Like, <laughs> come on, come on, bruh. Nah, it's it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too broke for this conversation. <laughs> Bitcoin headed for its worst week in more than a year, with Bitcoin drastically dipping below fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> what did they say? Bitcoin drastically dipping below fifty thousand dollars. What did they tell you? Buy the dip. Buy the dip. Buy the dip. Dip your chip. Wait, no. <laughs> ah. I think the highest it was last week was sixty four thousand dollars. Sixty four thousand. Yeah. Sixty four thousand dollars. Yeah. So Actually, like, I don't, I don't trade the coin. Naira so. conversion. I think that's like fifty one million <laughs> naira <laughs> for one bitcoin. <laughs> As of today, shall you get fifty one million? Yeah, if you have one bitcoin. Oh baby, I don't know if I should be happy uh, that is that much or sad that the naira is that trash that fifty thousand dollars is fifty one million or whatever is fifty one million. Yeah. Okay, so I don't. So trade. yeah, I think so. He's saying like many experts trace the reason to Thursday's um, Bloomberg News report. <laughs> I don't know what the yeah, so like, report was. Bidding administration is considering raising the tax um, tax on capital gains to thirty nine point six percent for those earning more than one million a year. Does this apply to Nigeria? <laughs> I mean, the, everything happens. Nigerians in Nigerians have bitcoins now, yeah. so That's it, it, it affects us. So somehow. like, it's not, it's not, it's not just that Nigeria. Have like America. America's a is a yeah, is a superpower. So like, anything happens to America, like, really affects the whole yeah. world. But that means, I, I, I really felt, I felt like, or I feel like what world. happened after 2020 has just demystified America. Like, America is not this yeah, great America big is superpower. Nigeria, Gucci belt. <laughs> like, bro, like, I don't see how, after 2020, I really don't see how America, like, any small thing that happens in the American market should just drastically affect the rest of the well, world. Economically. Because they've shown their niash. Economically. Like, other than America, um, America is like the, like, think of any products that you use any popular products that you use mm-hmm. mm. their headquarters is in America maybe but it's made in China no like no like apart from I don't care if your HQ is in America other than America like China is like the next thank but, like, you but like I it's not China it's not where America. they are producing these things yeah but that's where but that's where the she said that's, that's, that's where their that's HQ that's where is that's thinking happens that's where the okay, market, so if their HQ is there what's not happening but that's, that's where, not where they are producing it yeah now. so like for, so for them to come what I'm trying to get to is that for them to come to America to build their HQ yeah it says something about like, like America, they know how to make money. Like, America they, anything, anything that to America, they really know how to make money. Like, look at NBA, NFL. Like, football can't even compare. Our government can't let, our government in Nigeria cannot let us be great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Bitcoin, sorry if yeah. you're losing money. Sorry. sorry to you guys. Some of us lose money every day living in Nigeria. <laughs> like, you go outside and you breathe. Bro, you and breathe. You breathe. breathe. <laughs> sorry. That's can't, the end, can't really. Nobody can <laughs> okay. Um Nigerians call for Minister <laughs> of Communications and Digital Economy, Isa Ali Panasonic. <laughs> Panasonic. <laughs> how you say but no, how you say his name for real? Pan, Pantami. Pantami. 
we're gonna we're not using no he doesn't deserve his name to be called Pandemi. He's 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 <laughs> in short he's, he's, he's he, he must not be named uh, to step down after videos of him showing support and uh, sympathy for terrorist groups, including Al Qaeda, the Taliban, and Boko Haram. You know the funny thing about this mm. one is that it's just the fact that the government is behind him. The press <laughs> like why? They actually came out and this country is a joke. Like a <laughs> um, so likes we can, I don't understand. This is not. This is not news. All I mean, this political thing is not news. Though. It's not news. It's not. It's not shocking. It's not breaking news. It's not exclusive. This is normal behavior for these people. A government that can shoot like um unarmed protesters. I mean, <laughs> what can we expect? Okay. And then come and say. That There's Boko Haram is, is reformed. That you can, you can. I think I saw one this morning. One guy, I don't know who the he is. The thing Buhari cannot do does not exist. <laughs> this guy, guy said reformed Boko Haram members can run for president. Who said that? I saw a video. I don't know who this guy Jesus is. He's wearing some sort of military uniform or whatever. He said that Boko Haram members that have shown reformation can run for president. Hmm. Meanwhile, those of us that went to school for six years because they kept doing strike, 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 strike. Had to, you know, work our way through that nasty, corrupt academic system. Come out, beat the odds. We can't run for president. Did you see how when like they captured like some Boko Haram guys and they, they, they give them biscuits? They, they, no, they give them biscuits. <laughs> they give the sword white native. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I saw that. I saw that. And, like, black sandals. They're having like and when they arrested protesters, they arrested protesters and they just packed them like sardine. Like see where they tied macaroni. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, everything. yeah. Like, Ivan, but yeah. how, 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 how are we in a country that? Um, pardons terrorists and treats them with like because kindness. we live in a bloody military regime masked in democracy that's why I don't think so I think it's a tribal it's a thing. tribal thing it's see it's a tribal it's a tribal thing but it's also who are the who like this this topic is gonna be sensitive but like I mean that's why it's the last topic so we have all the time um, in the world. okay so it's all these all these concepts are intertwined. Mm-hmm. So like, you say it's, it's tribalism is one layer, right? Mm-hmm. Then look at the if you break down the percentages of the different um, ethnic groups in in leadership positions, mm-hmm. and you see their religious backgrounds and where mm-hmm. they're from and all that stuff, you yeah. see the disproportionate. Yep. Um, you know, south mm-hmm. southern states, Southeast, or you can say Christians Southeast, or whatever, yeah. versus the east. I haven't lost. No offense, but like, it's just the truth. Is it true that, like, you barely. It's it's crazy, like. Like, If you look at it, I mean, the president is from the same religion. The person that made this statement, Minister of Religion, like Mohammed, same religion. Um, the same back, geographic location. Same, same everything. Like, yeah. and this same Issa Pantami guy, Pandemic. Panini. Panini. <laughs> this same Panasonic. guy. Panasonic. Like, did you see this minutes from um, this meeting? Of course I did. You know, so funny. Two two weeks ago, when the, when Delapo was on the pod, right? We were talking about Nairland. Yeah. And yeah. he was talking about the importance yeah. of Nairland. And I was like, man, I can't go on Nairland. I'm not going. And he said that that place has a wealth of like information. information yeah. yeah. Delapo was the one that DM'd me yesterday. The minutes from... 11 years ago hmm. yeah of the um plan to rid the north of christianity or whatever uh wicked minutes that was it that minutes was long as hell but i read it like halfway and i was like i can't read this anymore of this guy talking about their plan to to spread jihad in the north and eradicate christians because they are um predecessors the shio shagaris and the um, what's this guy's name? I forgot all the names I read. Joe Shagari, um, Amadou Bello. Like that, that was that was not what they wanted. That they wanted the North. Like something about how they wanted the North and they started to try to cut out the Middle Belt so that they can stay. And that, like the um, Christians chased out the Muslims. So they, made, they made Islam look ridiculous in the South. And that there were some so type that, of Christians like Bayram Christians that were killing, fuck, like, yeah, that were was killing just Muslims. Sad. Reading, reading that whole uh, minute was just like, very sad. And this guy is holding a political position in my country. That's the, that's the, that's the, that, see, we are like one, when they say like, it's really the grace of, let me not, see, can I ask a question? Go ahead. Do you think like, a civil war can break out? 150%. Any, 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 Honestly, any I, moment. 100%. I, like, I really thought during, when this thing was really hot in the east, when in the, um, sorry, I said east in, I think it's not Ibadan. Or in the West, where 
the full Annie husband were killing people that they raped one pregnant woman because she was. I heard about that story, but yeah, I don't so remember. I, I really thought that was happened. when don't, it was going to happen because they were why? actually doing this thing that they were doing in civil war then where if you're not like if you're passing like this was this is actually real, like Moe Buffalo Road. Yeah. If you're on your bike, like these guys with call class will ask you, are you like are you Yoruba or Aosa? So you have to speak Yoruba to them for them to allow you pass. And this was this was the same thing that happened during like the civil war. So like I really thought that that was that was, like, that was, was when it was going to happen. We've but, had so many near misses. Like, we've had so many of those type of instances mm. happen in Nigeria that just come and go. Mm. Mm-hmm. I remember in 2017 when I came to Nigeria for, like, a human rights investigation mm. in the North, right? This was 2017. And, like, I don't know if it was Arewa or something. Somebody had this declaration that told Igbo people, you have 48 hours or you have a very short amount of time to leave the North or we will start killing you. And mind you, I was on my way <laughs> to... I think we were trying to go to... My degree or um is it Borno? I don't remember. We were trying to go to somewhere in the north, yeah. We couldn't even go. Like we got up to we got up to Joss because we had to go. We went to Plateau State because we heard that Fulani Herzman killed twenty something people in the village, and they had a mass grave of them, and they took us there to go and visit the grave site, and then they showed us like children that got you know, that have bullet wounds and like different types of wounds in their in their bodies. And then we want, we couldn't even go to our final destination because it said it was unsafe. So like when I saw that, I was like, the fact that someone can boldly declare that Igbo should leave the north or we start killing you. Once you think civil is is this close for civil war to break out? The same time that was a whole uh, Python dance, a uh, military Python dance too, or something that they did in um the southeast with the Namdikan trying to you know uh, oh, yeah, find yeah. a Namdikan or whatever they did, <laughs> and I went there. And bro, if you see Namdi Kanu's house, bl- as in bl- destroy with bullets. Or oh, you, if you went to his house. I went. We went to his compound. The, I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's his house now. But at the time, that was the last place people saw him. Mm. There was bullets everywhere. There was dried blood on the floor when we went there. I have the video somewhere in my laptop. And I'd, like, I really like to see that. I will, I will see if I can send it to you. And like, when you see these instances, you're like, it, we're this close for people just being like, you know, f it gone by machete or out on these streets like <laughs> or our road type of thing so we are like this close I don't know what the event is going to be I don't know what the breaking point is going to be every time I think it's like what you said happened in Ibadan what I saw in a uh, plateau yeah. state what I saw in the southeast I'll be thinking like okay that is I think that is when war is going to break out like, well, we're really shielded from like things like this because like you're not Facts. living in like the rural area I guess Facts. so it's like we don't even. I don't fucking know what's going on. Like hundred percent. I keep. Guess? I keep saying it. Sometimes I've said. I don't know which podcast I've said. It, I've. I've. I've been like, bro, you'll be there in fifty seven. <laughs> you don't know how many states above you they're killing. They're, they're yeah. killing people. You're eating. Like, you really don't know at, what's going on, bro. At RZP, and as you're eating <laughs> that sushi that you're eating, well, how many states guy. away they're bombing? They're doing bomb blasts in somebody's market in 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 the north. Without further ado, um, Just Finesse presents Hannah. Thank you so much for um, breaking your podcast cherry on my <laughs> podcast. I, it's cherry. such it's such yeah, an honor. Like it, it didn't go like I, I was nervous. Touch I'm your like, mouth on that really? mic. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. um, I'll but, definitely do something like this again. I'll okay. d- we'll see if we can you know do a Hannah part two. <laughs> um, please enjoy your birthday dinner. Chop your life away. Yeah. Eat life. Please send her credit alerts. You can put your uh, account number in your bio, Let in me, your, can on I your please Instagram. Can I shop, please? <laughs> oh, yeah. See, she's about to say, her, see, if you hear this episode and you hear her account number, please, just to show that she actually I'll listened, go. send her money. Okay. Send money. Send her money. Send her money. All right. What's your, what's your bank account number? Yeah, so GT Banco. <laughs> Zero two five one zero eight eight five two five. Take your time. Oh yeah. See what you say. Zero two fight for you. Five one zero eight five one zero eight. We want you to get money, Hannah. Come on. Eight five eight five six eight six eight. One more time, please. Zero two zero two. Five one five one zero eight zero eight eight six eight six. Sorry, it's five. Hey, hey. you don't want money now. You don't want money. Eight five six eight. Come on, send me money, bro. Come on. Even if it's one k, come on, bust that account open for a real for Let a real one. Don't be buzzing. Don't be buzzing. Come on. No, but don't be surprised. Like you know, six months later, you just get one random alert. You're like, who's it from? Maybe because somebody came back and listened to this podcast or it's something. Possible. So. 
Um, once again, this is Jess Finesse Presents. Hannah, you're the best. Shout out to Uncle Kenny, Ayo, and we are out. Yeah,